Hey guys, Zombie XT here. Are you guys struggling to survive in this game? Are you having a hard time? Well, follow me. I'm going to show you everything you need to know on how to survive in this game. Let's go. All right, guys. I'm just going to quickly take you through the beginning screen here from start to finish. Um, I'm, you, you can put your own name in here. Uh, I'm naming it Beginner's Guide YouTube for the sake of just, that's what it is obviously okay uh you can have apprentice gunsmith um different different professions you can flip through here uh my favorite i think would be the mechanic just because you're gonna the vehicle is very important to have in this game one of the, the both two that i would pick would be I, I would pick mechanic or i would pick the uh the medical technician and being the reasoning behind that is as an emergency te medical technician is going to uh, help you with meds. You're, you're going to be 25% more effective with all medical items. And you take a lot of hits in this game. So that's going to be good saving meds, making sure you can heal up a lot in a pinch. The mechanic skill is 50% more effective with repair kits. So when you, when you damage things with your vehicle, you're going to effectively be able to very efficiently use repair kits. And they're not cheap. So that is very good. Um, I'm going to pick, I think I'm going to pick mechanic this run through on the live stream. I picked uh, the medical technician. I would just pick, you know, me medical technician or I would pick the uh, mechanic. So we're going to go with mechanic. We're going to go customize. I already have a, a guy right here. So we're going to hit save. He looks all manly and muscular and ready to go. We're going to hit save. Okay. Um, and then start game. Uh, you can do the tutorial. It's gonna run you through how to like shoot, sneak, all that stuff. We don't really need that, so um, we're gonna hit. Uh, we're gonna hit no. You can hit this where it'll. Where if you're in, if you get bit and then you die when you respawn, you won't have that zombie inf infection. So you could just have that where it's kind of like, you know, it clears it for you. You don't have to worry about it. You can carry about business. I would recommend turning that on. Um, I'm gonna turn it on as well. It makes things a bit more easier. Everything else standard, you know, standard vanilla game. So let's hit apply. Let's get in here. Again, um, thank you guys. If you guys are enjoying this, uh, smash that like button. It really helps the algorithm. And if you guys are really enjoying the content, you want to see more of these videos, um, hit that sub button, and you'll you'll it'll let you it'll, it'll let you know whenever I go um, whenever I go live or whenever I live this I live stream this, this game a lot. So if you guys um, do want to see these principles in action, then you can, you know, catch those live streams and, uh, and come hang out and chill. And I'll, I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys have. Uh, starter spawn, I would recommend. Inland spawn, coast road spawn, west road spawn. I would recommend starter spawn. These are going to be higher loot. Like the more you go inland, the more loot you're going to find. But I would recommend starter spawn. Like just starting out. Just hit starter spawn and you're going to start in like this you can hit q and e to rotate the map you know you can just you can do that and you just basically want to loot you hit open and you want to basically loot in the start area you want to loot all that you can you can read this note open you can read the note you guys can pause right now to to read if you'd like I'll give you guys a second to read this here. I'm a terrible reader, so I'm not going to even bother reading that to you guys. You guys can do it. See, look at repair kit right there. Beginning zone. It gives you kind of uh, starter stuff here. When I've seen it can give you some pretty good loot in the beginning to get you going. Yeah, we didn't get we didn't get a gun yet. Sometimes I've seen bows, sometimes I've seen guns uh spawn. I've seen uh at 1911. These um these campers here, you can loot these. So you can loot these. Sometimes they spawn look a car battery. And we got some ammo. Um we're gonna toss that letter and take the ammo. Letters can't kill zombies and we're all about killing zombies. We're all about surviving. 
on this channel all about surviving all right you can hit q and e to rotate you want to see better and you can just do this um search toolbox there was a crowbar yep crowbar so what the crowbar will allow you to do it's it's gonna let you you can use it as a weapon of course but you can also use it to break into locked buildings or houses essentially so if, if there's a um you normally need uh lock picks to do that but with this you're able to just bust into it it is a little bit audible so be careful of that if there's zombies around you know um see so yeah, improvised backpack there's a bow right here we're gonna go ahead and take that bow give us some range here there we go now we have a bow and arrow that's kind of huge we got that right from the start it only has oh, we got 14 arrows okay that's not too bad do so you want to kind of um these cars right here they are for your sledgehammer but you're gonna get a sledgehammer and you'll be able to get like scrap and different components you can get car parts off these cars i found that out in the live stream but yeah you can just you, you can loot those up and you can uh you can grab those these are lootable you can loot this so we have a screwdriver we'll take that canopies painkillers that's health right there it'll it'll uh, replenish you and if you did take a um, medical technician it'll replenish you a good amount i took mechanic just because 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 i've played a little bit uh so i don't feel like i need the extra health the extra health is huge though if you definitely are new i would recommend grabbing that we'll take the machete so um the infrared hammer i'm gonna take that being that we need that to build we're gonna have to have that to build you cannot build without a hammer you can have an improvised hammer not a big deal but you can't build without one so we're gonna take that we're gonna keep going here we're gonna loot up the next house here where there it is there's the door like thief simulator up in here all right uh open that up yep got some water remember the three pillars of survival uh food water and shelter that's what you need and we're gonna hit q to go ahead and rotate our screen around uh coffee bag tarp tarps water collector we, we could use that i'm not sure how soon we're gonna get into uh our base but we can drop it later if need be okay how much slots is that yep that's smaller so we're not we're not going to worry about that okay baseball bat it's a good thing we found that right so we found earlier we found nails these boxes so boxes like a uh, nails the uh the, the painkillers like the balls of painkillers make sure you open them to make sure there's actually stuff in there because you could be out here looting and like boxes of nails oh i got like five boxes of nails and i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna start building up my, my mega base huge base and they're all empty right that's no fun so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna open we got 38 so that's good but what we can do here we have a bat here a regular old plain jane louisville slugger and we have a um nails right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine this dead rising style and make the nailed bat that's gonna increase our damage output now we have a really good melee weapon we have we have we found the machete but if we didn't find the machete like if you guys didn't find the machete in first house but you found these parts components to make a um a better weapon you have that to your disposal use the game to your disposal we're gonna take the cowboy hat just because it looks cool as far as i know there's no there's no like perk right there's no um perk to wearing them besides looking like uh rick grimes so we're gonna look like we're grounds today uh we'll drop the rice we don't need that i'd rather have the rag uh drop the rice sir drop please okay there we go and then we're gonna take the rag yep we'll take the rag and that'll give us a way to heal ourselves on top of the pain the painkillers but i want multiple ways to heal ourselves right we want to we want to be fine out there a harsh world and we need to be able to be healed okay so we're gonna go here we're gonna go down here and let's loot this old doobie <laughs> doobie get it guys smoking them doobies 
That's the car you, you'd, you'd imagine if someone was getting high as a kite. They'd be in that back. They'd be in that car. Would they not? Okay, so here you're gonna want to go. You got multiple options here. You can look at your map, right? So you can either go right or left. I see a couple houses over here. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go up that way. So I'm gonna make this right here. And you can move your screen around if you want to look like that way. Like you want to run towards this way, and you, you can move your screen around. Whatever makes you feel more comfortable. And, you, and we're gonna make our way up this road here. We're gonna walk it a little bit. Do a slow pace walk. A little stroll in the neighborhood. Let's see what's going on over here. See what, see what the neighbors are up to, man. See what our fellow Karens, you know. Next door neighbor Karens are up to. See how they're doing. Again, you can take these apart. You can loot this. You can, sometimes they have stuff in the back. That's for good for farming. We got limited space, so we're not going to take that. You, you really got to... This game is brutal on storage. But I will show you guys how to make all that stuff. Soon. Very soon. But the first thing you want to do is you want to get a car going. Car is pivotal. We haven't had a car yet, which is unfortunate, but... Barbed wire, screwdriver... Okay, we're, what we're going to do here... Is we're going to try to take this... We're gonna consume that apple. We're a little bit thirsty, a little bit hungry. The apple will be enough. And we'll search this. We'll take the car battery. And then we'll put the tarp away and we'll take that. The only reason the screwdriver is a component to make a repair kit. And I'll show you guys that right now. If you wanna craft a repair kit, you're gonna need a screwdriver. So, so I'm essentially banking those up so that when I do have a car, I own a few parts. So we're keeping an eye on, eye out for certain stuff. Basically what we're doing. We're gonna look in this house real quick. I wanna grab my, my ball bat out because these guys can be in here. You can kind of poke your little head through the, through the door here and kind of see, peer in, see what you got going on and clear the house first. Because you do not want to be, like, nose deep in loot like this. And then be like, oh, crap, I got a zombie on my ass. And then you're dead. And there's there's no comeback from a zombie bite, guys. You're dead. You have to respawn and find your body. Okay, zombie luggage or well, not zombie luggage, just luggage, guys. The luggage is not zombified. Trust me. That would be a sight to behold. Okay, um... 357, I don't have the gun yet, but those are kind of common. So I'm going to try to make room for it here. Um, let's drink. Yeah, we can drink that soda. And then we're going to search the ammo box here. I'm not going to do a whole lot of editing now in this uh, playthrough just because I want you guys to be able to see everything. Like everything on how to survive. Um, like long walks, I probably will edit out. And like little grindy stuff, like gathering all the resources, I'll edit that out. Of course, but uh. Okay, what you can do here is you can drop. Right click the drop, take the box and nails. You can open these and these will stack. Now you get those to stack. And grab the hammer. We got some baddies over there. We're not too worried right now. We're over here. We have a fuel pump and a crossbow, guys. That is really good. So we can do here. And if you want to drop something, you're going to initially, in your gamer minds, you're going to think, okay, I'm going to click down here. Oh, well, how do I drop it? You have to go off to the left here. And you have to hit right click on that. And then you can equip this. And then you can put that away all and then you can take these right and then what you want to do here i'm gonna try to make some room here we'll put the duct tape away we'll take the fuel now we have a fuel pump and a car battery the essentials for a car is a fuel pump a car battery a fan belt and a starter those are the things you're gonna need so yeah green high tops and i guarantee you when i find a car it's gonna have a battery and a fuel pump already these parts are not going to be needed. Okay, so he's on our butt now. 
he wants he wants some uh some zombie time here so let's go hit him we're hitting him in the hand yeah you want to try to hit him with body shots or or headshots headshots preferably you kill the brain you kill the ghoul any old uh george romero uh fans out there yep you know the legs it'll give him a chance to do that stun animation i completely foobarred that so yep and hit him down all right now we can search this guy he's got some Purified tabs. These are for if you want to purify your water, which we should take those. We should. Let's 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 open. We'll open this up real quick. Yep, we got some purified tablets. Good. Those are gonna be good for survival. And again, guys, we don't have very much space at all. Um, we'll consume those. We're a little bit hungry. We'll eat the chips. That'll be fine. And then search, search him, and then we'll grab this and a piece. Consume that that too. We don't really need it, but it's gonna go to waste if we don't. So might as well just eat it. Might as well just eat it. All right, and we're gonna keep on walking. So we got this here. And if you guys spawn, if you're playing along and you spawn where I spawn and you're following along here, you can search this trailer. So we got lock picks there, baseball bat, crowbar. If I had my vehicle, I would take I would take these for for extra for later. Now we have to drop something. I, I really want the lock picks. Those are going to come in handy. Now with the lock pit, the lock picks, guys. You need the lock pick skill, right? It's a lock picker. It costs one point. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. You never know. You will need that skill. If you don't have that skill and you have the lock pick. You can't use it. So make sure you get that skill pretty early on. You want to get that pretty early. I would say like one or two. You, you can hold off a little bit, maybe three or four. But I, I wouldn't wait too long because you're gonna you're gonna run into those doors like later on that you can't get into, and it's gonna be really frustrating. Really frustrating for you. So let's go in here. I'm, I'm typically looking for uh, when I first start out. I'm looking for a car that I can get going and then car parts. We haven't found the car yet, but we can look for car parts. There's no harm in that. So I'm going to hit them and back off. That one guy is faster. So I'm going to let him get way ahead of the other guys and then go in for a hit and then knock him down and hit him. He's dead. Easy. So simple. All right. Hit this guy and then hit them both. Yep. Y'all are done. I, I just took on three at once. Much easier than Project Zomboid in that effect. In that effect, you can take on multiples. You just got to get used to it. But if you're starting out in this game, you're brand new to it. You just you just hit download. You hit start new game. Um, I would recommend you uh, you just take one at a time. See this guy? He thinks he's tough shit, man. He thinks he can he can take me on. Yep. All right, you're done. You're done, though, man. You're done, though. Oh, we're gonna go in here. We're gonna look and see what we can find in here. So, oh, not a whole lot. There are potential like spawns for stuff though. You gotta look at all these little corners. Sometimes they'll hide behind a corner. I think this is just an empty barn. So we're gonna get out of here. We're not interested. Yeah, it's a barn. That might have been a garage. It's a barn. Let's go in here. Let's see if we can't score a good backpack. What we really need right now. Oh, a locked door. Yep, this is where you can use your lock pick. So with this guys, you want to use A and D to rotate, left click to push. And you kind of want to test. If you guys ever played Fallout, it's kind of the same situation. Or like scum. Ooh, this is a tough lock. Yep, and you want to kind of test the lock. There we go. You just want to push gently. You got to hulk it and try to break the lock because it because it will break your lock pick and then that lock pick's gone Dunzo not coming back okay so nothing really in here we care about unfortunately but um yeah open that door let's get out of here and let's go ahead and why am i guys out of stamina here 
Oh. Yeah, if you're overweight, guys, if you are overweight, your stamina will be tanky. Like, I can't run that far. So we're going to have to uh, either find a car soon or start building a base. I would recommend finding the car soon and then traveling to where you want to find where you want to build the base at. Because if you build if you build before you find the car, or at least a car that you can repair, then you're going to be like searching, trying to go out and search for a car. I would recommend just from the beginning, just find you a car. We should have one that spawns relatively close by here. Usually every every live stream that I've started up on this game with the, the multiplayer with the Slayer and then the uh, the uh, Solo one the solo live stream I did I've always spawned by a car. I don't know why it's not the case this time. All right, bro Let's go. Yeah, let's get started with man And then bam we're right into a police checkpoint here This has a potential for some good loot, but they can be a little tanky. So just be careful like you don't need to use your gun here if you have a gun already. If you have a gun already, you're you're a madman and you're lucky. But um, yeah, just hit him. He does have a helmet on, so it's gonna take a few hits. So just do that and hit him up. There you go. He swung too early. Okay, I'm not out of stamina here, so I'm gonna back off a little bit. Let my stamina regen. Don't fight without without any stamina, guys. It's never a good day. All right, he didn't have anything on him. Sometimes you can, it'll say like loot the Zeke, what they're called in this game, they're called Zeeks. And uh, you can loot them. All right, bro. This guy's gonna be weak. Doesn't have any body armor on. All right, let's look at this. Uh, let's look at this car here. Shit. And that's what happens when you get greedy with the loot, guys. Sometimes that happens, you're just unlucky and it, nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do besides take on the onslaught of zombies that come your way. Just keep your calm. Keep your head on. Keep backing up. It don't matter how far you gotta back up. Just keep backing up. And hit when you can. And then you'll be fine. And before you know it, you'll be kicking ass and taking names. There we go. You're dead. All right, yeah, all of them are dead. There wasn't that much that was good in that. Uh, screwdriver, toggle bar. If I had a bigger backpack, I'd take the screwdriver, but I don't want to drop any more items. I'm getting to the point where I've dropped everything that I can comfortably drop. So, no weapons, unfortunately. Sometimes there'll be like little pistols and 357 Magnum revolvers you can grab in there. We didn't get fortunate enough this, this game. We did not get fortunate enough. Okay, so that's a billboard. Not a building. Learn your buildings from your billboards, guys. Really comes in handy. All right, we're going to take this on slow. We're going to... The smaller one's going to be faster. But he's weaker. He's kind of glass cannon. There we go. Yep, and uh, actually the, the bigger one was more of a glass cannon than the smaller one, which is not usually the case. All right, bro. Oh, let's look at you. Kind of got to aim your little reticule here. You guys can see it. Aim that reticule and, and smack them. All right, so we have a level up. We're not going to worry about it right now. I'll tell you guys what I would, I would spec into next. There we go. See, that's that's the good thing about upgrading your weapons like doing those combos like the baseball bat and the nails or the piece of wood piece piece of uh two by four and the nails is you get the extra layer of damage extra extra damage hit there all right we got two water there let's see we're gonna keep continuing down this road hopefully we find a car hopefully we find a car There's a uh, ambulance. It might have an alarm on it. We're gonna find out. We're good. Okay, guys, this is all I was talking about. You wanna try to open these up? Open? Those had two in them. Those are good. We'll shoot that in. 
then we'll take these out. We'll open. Yep, they both had some in there. So that's good. But we have those and we got our crossbow. Oh, did not reload it. There we go. You're done. Did we get our other one back? No, we don't. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, there it is. You can retrieve those. Then I'll just shoot them and then walk away from them. Because you can get them back. Uh, that's easily made. And I'm pretty sure we're going to find another ha hammer. So I'll just... I'll leave that for now. If you guys are worried you're not going to find one, you definitely... You just keep it. Oh, shoot. Just remember to reload. You don't automatically re reload in this game. So, definitely remember to reload before you get into a fight. There we go. Yeah, you just keep on backing up. They won't be able to get you. Now, if you have, like, a horde of them and it just, like, it's too crazy for you to fight, just definitely run away. You don't have the ammo for it. But, like, shooting, like, uh, actual firearms does uh, draw more in. So be, be, be mindful of that when you're when you're shooting off your AK-47 and a horde of them. It will draw draw out more. If it's that situation where there's already a horde, doesn't really matter, then by all means, protect yourself, man. Stay alive. But yeah, we're going to go up this road here. You got something to say, man? I'm shooting a video here. There we go. You're dead. You dead. You dead, broski. All right. Let's grab. Let's see what he had on him. Uh, chocolate bars. I'd like to take those. I just don't want to drop any of this stuff. I guess I could drop a screwdriver. If we find a backpack, we could come back for it. But I mean, that's. I wouldn't recommend it. All right. We got two of them here, so let's... Oh, Ash charm in the chest. Whiffing my shots here. Casually. Oh, looks like you bled out. Another screwdriver. We'll consume that soda. We're a little bit, we're a little bit parched. Did a little bit of walking. Not the best thing after a walk. Probably water would be, would be better. If you guys had a, a good run outside and drink soda, yeah, not 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 the best, not recommended. So let's go. Let's look over here. I'm trying to. Sorry about that burp, you guys. I'm trying to keep my eyes, my eyes peeled. Or car. Let's open this. Yep, there's matches in there. I'll try to show you guys the uh, when they're empty. See this right here? We can combine the, the purification tablets with this and it becomes into the drinking water that we can drink. But right now, we're kind of low on storage. So I'm probably going to try to. Eesh. All right, let's let's take care of some baddies here. There we go. I'm Daryl Dixon up in this place, man. I'm a crazy version between Daryl Dixon and Rick Grimes here. I just need that 357. I can do it. Get this get this done. Alright. Go ahead and take you on. Yep, come back here. And it does do a little knockback on him. Staggers him a little bit. There we go. And he's dead. So, we'll grab our other bolt here. And then we're going to try to find us a... Oh, jeez. That one's lost. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing that, you guys. 
Definitely wouldn't recommend doing that. That could have waited. That could have cost me my life. There we go. There we go. i grab all these crossbow bolts back. Ooh. Okay, yeah. We're gonna wanna, we'll put all those up there and put our matches up and then grab, grab. Then we'll open these, open, open. And then take all these. Oh, we're full on those. We're full on space. But yeah, that's why you can save space is by just, you know, grabbing. Grabbing those. And uh, um, opening them. Is what I'm trying to say. There we go. Headshot. The uh, shooting in this game is kind of smooth. If you guys want to kick him back. Like, see this guy's getting close. You can hit V to kick him back. Unless you've changed your keybinds. I would recommend changing it to something a little bit more closer. Like maybe um, left control or something. Just something that's easier for you to, uh, to get to. All right, let's bro. Bra. That one's gone too. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm totally uh, doing terrible at shooting this guy. Note to self, we're going to edit that out. We're going to make that look as crisp and as clean as possible. All right. Bolts. We got our stone here. Not interested. Let's see what's inside here. There's the revolver, baby. So now what we can do to save some more space is reload that sucker. All right. Reload that. Oh, shoot. See what I'm talking about? There's people and then there's people and they're just waiting for you. Waiting for you to make a mistake. Waiting for you to get sloppy. And he chose the window instead of the door. They're not the smartest, guys. They're definitely smarter than them. I don't care who you are. I don't care your IQ level. I don't care your background. You're smarter than these guys. Kitchen knife. Okay. Let's back off a little bit. Sometimes you gotta be patient. Sometimes you gotta just let them do their thing, see? There we go. You're done. Good night. Good night. All right. And we are going to do just a, a day by day kind of thing, man. Like every episode. And you're going to learn something new every time. A raptor hoodie. That is after the uh, famous YouTuber a raptor. That's kind of funny. All right, let's go in here. Let's check this out. Beef jerky, pork and beans. We honestly kind of need the food, but our inventory is kind of full at the moment. So we're just gonna grab what we can here. Oh, 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 we kind of want that. That's a repair kit. That's really good. We'll take the, the drink. Surprised we haven't found a car by now. Usually, all my other, all both my other playthroughs, I'm gonna say all because I only played it like twice, one twice, but I played it a lot, a lot of hours. Um, take that, fine. Um, 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 um. Truck that. Well, we kind of want that screwdriver, don't we? We only have one other screwdriver. So let's. You know what? Let's keep the screwdriver. We can always mark that. What can we mark this as? 
Let's do this as battery. We'll do the square as a battery. So I don't, I don't think we should loot anymore. We, what we really need to do is we need to find a vehicle. That's our next step. Is finding a vehicle that we can get up and running. So we're going back towards the road here. I want to search out all these houses around. Make sure there's not a, a hidden vehicle here somewhere. Let's do this. I believe we already looked up this. Yeah, we did. You guys want to use your flashlight? You can use T. That turns a flashlight on. It does. It does drain your uh, your battery. You have to put batteries in it. So keep that in mind as you're looting. Use your flashlight a lot. You might want to pick up some ba a couple, a couple batteries. They last a decent time. There's a little battery icon down there in the bottom left by your stats. There we go. Another headshot. Beautiful. We're saving stamina. That might be one right there. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think that's a... Take that though. Yeah, that's not one you can drive, unfortunately. We're gonna keep on looking. Ooh. I'm being unlucky with these spawns. Oh. I want to take another look at this house on the left and the left over here and make sure it didn't have a car that one 100 didn't yeah that was that one didn't either did it Repair kit. We're gonna have to take the repair kit because that's uh, those are actually like built repair kits. So we're gonna want to take those. Again, we'll drop the nails in there, and then we'll we're gonna open this up, and then we'll just take whatever nails we can. Yeah, we're gonna want that hose as well. What to drop? What to drop? We're gonna have to make some tough. Tough calls, guys. Tough calls. The screwdriver. We have to. We have to take that. We have to take that uh, hose. That hose is gonna allow us to uh, siphon gas. It's gonna allow us to siphon gas. I mean, we can't even carry the nails, which breaks my heart, man. Breaks my heart dearly. But we don't have a choice. What kind of skills do we have? One of the really good skills here is, if you can get it, is. Um, I can find it here. Power lifter, carry more weight. Uh, no, it's not that one. It's deep pockets. That cost four, and by that time you should have a backpack. Remember seeing that when I was doing the live stream. Oh, uh, all right, we're gonna keep going here. Keep on moseying our way down. We did not find a a vehicle in that neighborhood all the karens probably took it you know what i mean turn our flashlight off save some battery here and walk down this road but again these cars right here you can take apart with sledgehammer and get car parts so if you have a sledgehammer and you have a car and you see a bunch of those cars lying around knock them knock them down Break them up. See if you can't get a. Uh, I found like starters. I found um, fuel pumps and stuff.
if we find an actual car uh like a car part we should take it mm. that's a gear i don't know it's not really vital right now we have good amount of, this is a good amount of repair kits And then we're probably gonna Oh shit we got a baddie over here Come on man You can drop now There we go All right, hey, bro, give me all those crossbow bolts Give me those back There we go. And he's dealt with. I love the crossbow in this game, and it's not just because I'm like a a, a Daryl Dixon fangirl either, <laughs> or fanboy. Um, crossbow's really good. Don't sleep on it, guys. Seriously, don't. You're sleeping on it. Don't sleep on it. Ooh, dirty water. I could take that. No, we gotta pick up our ammo. We won't have the room after we pick up our ammo. Okay, let's reload this. Remember, always check your, check your mags, check your chambers, guys. You don't want to be. Okay, here's our first special-looking zombie, and he is special. Jesus. Okay, we're gonna get close personal with him. Yeah, don't get too close to his cloud. You see, I just took damage, and again, I, I took damage. Yeah, don't get close to him. That loot's not worth your life. Jesus, these dogs can be kind of squirrely sometimes. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. We're at three health now, guys. This game can be brutal. I'm going to back off a little bit here. And if I were you guys at this point, I would drop the weight. Yes, the car repair kits are good, but I would just drop it. I would drop every unnecessary weight that you could. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to have this gun out and ready to go. While I'm reading myself here. Just in case. Because we don't know what's going to happen. There could be a horde that shows up at any given time. And use the rags to heal. Use painkillers to heal. Use rags to heal. And if you guys didn't find any rags, you can. You find like a knife or a little hatchet. You can um, break up some bushes for fiber or sticks. And sticks can be turned into fiber. I'll show you. Um, so fiber right here. You can turn sticks, sticks into fiber. And then you can turn and then fiber turn that into a rag, and you can heal yourself. Let's use another one. Go ahead and get topped off here. I might have to go guns here. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, guys, I'm severely overweight. Usually you should have found a uh, car by now. Not sure why I haven't found a car, but it's okay. Cause this is actually good. I can show you if, if you didn't find a car, what exactly to do. We'll take another one too. That's all of our heals, but it's okay. We'll be okay. So we're gonna hit the three button again. We got our no bat here. Old old faithful. And I honestly I might just go ahead and drop some stuff. Um, weapons bite. See, I might need that though. I'm gonna need the fuel can. I'm gonna need the fuel pump. All right. Let's draw him off to us because we don't have very much stamina to deal with anything right now. So.
Oh, we gotta level up. Okay, so our next skill that I would grab is the athlete or sprinter. I'm gonna grab sprinter before this guy shows up. See, he's like in proximity to me. He's damaging me. That's like their radiation zombies. Yep, he's done. All right, let's draw him over. You can do like a sneak attack on him. All right, we're probably we're probably gonna have to go guns here because we don't have the. Uh, Stamina. So don't be afraid to use guns. Can't really see here. There we go. All right, so we're topped off as much as we can. Now that these guys have kind of despawned, we can kind of rummage through their belongings. Yeah, the other stuff despawned, unfortunately. Before we can get to it. So let's put that away. We'll grab our nail bat and we'll look through this their stuff too. We'll take the rag and we'll go and actually go ahead and use that rag. So instead, as topped off as you can, as you're going, because sometimes you may not have the opportunity to heal. So stay, stay as topped off as humanly possible. Now there is, if you're going this way, there is a bandit camp up here. So you want to be careful of that. We don't have much ammo. So you want to be careful. I think they're coming up here soon. Three, 308 win. We got to remember that. We don't have the storage space for it. There's nine mil on that um, pallet there. We don't have a nine millimeter and we're, we don't have much space either, so. We're gonna see what we can see up here. Again, I would probably drop some of this stuff. I'm not going to. Just because I I believe I need everything. And the one thing that I drop is gonna be the thing that I'm gonna need. So we're gonna keep walking up here. As you can see, that little icon down here means it's it's cold. It's cold. We stayed in the cold long enough. Now we have a common cold. You can remedy that by getting some uh, cough syrup. Um, that you can find it in like ambulances, clinics, uh, pharmacies. It's pretty. It's pretty common to find. It'll naturally go away too. And that is like saying that we're over encumbered. Like we're we're too heavy right now. We honestly should not even be attempting this because this is not a good position to be in. But you can drop your bag. By holding some button. I forget. I've never dropped my bag. I've always just dealt with it. Dealt with it or just been... And light been light enough okay we're gonna take that and look at that a hammer i knew we'd find one so we found some more crossbow bolts that's good because we are out we lost all of them okay so yeah that's the bandit camp there so we're gonna want to I'm gonna take the woods to the right here. 
because we don't want to take that in our current position. Our current situation is not good. So we're not we're not going to take that bite. We're good here. We're just strolling through the, the woods here. And we're going to we're going to sneak around these guys. We'll actually hit C so we can uh, sneak. All right, here we are. I think we, we got around them. I think we're safely. We safely uh, avoid that conflict. We will be back to take them out. Because they do have some good gear. They got guns and stuff that we could we could use. We're gonna look at our map again. You can just drag. Yeah, we're gonna look at these houses up here. In hopes of finding a car. That's what we're looking for right now is a car. Hey guys, sorry, the uh, audio cut out uh, the last five minutes of the video. We never found the car. Well, in the next episode, we will look for finding that car. And thank you guys for watching so much. Thanks for all you, you who have subscribed already. And I'll see you in the next one. Are we here?